Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> uh, I thought I'd do a little um, best of 2016 so far video. 2016 was a highly anticipated year within the Linux community, mainly because of the number of re new releases expected within the Ubuntu framework. And of course, every time Ubuntu releases a new long-term uh, version, long-term support, um, all of the derivatives, all of the um, smaller guys, the third-party um, developers, uh, they update their packages, which you can see is happening now. So I thought I'd give you my thoughts and opinions on what I see as the best of Linux so far. It's early in the year, things change, but this is a kind of a where are we now uh, as, uh, as far as my opinion is concerned for whatever that is worth. Now, um, I'm gonna take it uh, in categories. And, but I have to preface the video or start the video off. Well, actually, I'll wait on that. Let's go right into what I consider to be the best of the best so far in 2016. Now, a lot was made about the um, new 1604 Ubuntu. And I think the, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the... Um, winner in that category best Ubuntu flavor release in my opinion is Ubuntu Mate now I'm breaking down a, I'm gonna do this in categories what first Ubuntu based distros next will be Debian based distros next will be arch based distros and finally I'll mention a couple of puppy Linux distributions that I like okay so so far I think the bar was set really high by Ubuntu Mate um, if you look at the reviews that have come out a lot of the reviewers have given it glowing, gl absolutely glowing recommendations. And I have to agree. I installed Ubuntu Mate, and f in my opinion, they've got all the bases covered. Um, they've, they've done just about everything that they can possibly do to get that number one spot. Um, as far as Ubuntu distributions. The, the uh, distribution is polished, it's complete, it's comprehensive, they've added a lot of proprietary content, they've got a lot of functionality, it's absolutely superb. And so, as far as uh, Ubuntu distributions go, I would have to give Ubuntu Mate the nod as number one. Now, if you enjoy uh, the Ubuntu-based distributions, I will um, go over a couple more that you might want to consider. And again, a lot of this is personal preference. Next in line, my choice would be Zubuntu. And that's Ubuntu with an XFCE, XFCE desktop. Um, and if you want another example, I would have to throw Linux Lite into that mix. They use XFCE. Uh, it's always well done. The new version 3, I just did a beta review. It looks like it's going to be another winner for Jerry and his, his crew over at Linux Lite. So I would have to say that Zubuntu um, would be right behind Mate and throw Linux Lite into that mix as well. Now, 
the last Ubuntu category, um, and again, these are basically desktop environments, would be Lubuntu. Now, Lubuntu, I enjoy. It's lightweight. It runs well. It's, it's intuitive. It's nicely designed. And nothing, it doesn't get any better than Peppermint 6. Right now, I'm looking forward to Peppermint's new release. They haven't uh, released anything as of yet. I'm hoping we see something soon. Uh, they always do a great job. Along with Linux Lite, it's always one of my most anticipated releases. And so, for Ubuntu, if we can recap... Ubuntu Mate number one, Zubuntu slash Linux Lite number two, uh, Lubuntu slash Peppermint OS 6 number three. You can't go wrong with any of those. New user, experienced user, it doesn't matter. Those are fine distributions and would serve you well no matter who you are or what level of expertise you're at. So that wraps up the Ubuntu version. Now let's get over to Debian. As far as I'm concerned, I like Debian a lot. And I use it quite frequently. Lately, I've been using it more often than not. And the distribution that I'm using more often than not is MX15. MX15, in my opinion, is the number one Linux distribution. The benchmark for everyone else to shoot at. They package so much proprietary functionality. If you look at their menu. Do you see everything that begins with MX? That's all unique to MX uh, Debian Linux, MX15. It's absolutely outstanding. MX is one of the few Linux distributions that when I install it, Broadcom is installed out of the box. I do not have to install Broadcom drivers. Everything works perfectly. Right now, I'm using MX15 more often than not on both of my computers. It just works. It's easy to configure. As a matter of fact, you see what you're looking at here? I set up this distribution on my main computer, got it the way I wanted it, used their MX Tools menu, if I can locate that. Let's see, we're going to go to... Now, in MX Tools, you see Save System to ISO? I set it up the way I wanted it, clicked on that, saved it to an ISO, burned it to a USB, brought it upstairs, and put it on this computer. Installed it perfectly. No problems whatsoever. I can't say enough about MX15. It is my number one Debian distribution. Now, if you are looking at Debian, I would have to say right now, MX is a far and away number one. Number two would be Sparky Linux. Sparky does testing, Debian testing, and they do it very well. Highly recommended. Right now I'm running the Sparky Special Edition Multimedia version. It's performing outstanding. And beyond that, if you want Debian, go right to Debian. Download the Debian uh, Stable or Debian Testing. 
and even if you want to try unstable well what you do is install do a net install on Debian stay on Debian stable before you update change your sources to unstable and you can run SID uh, I have tried it I'm not happy with the instability but again it's unstable that's what you get so if you want to play if you want to tinker if you want to fool around with that stuff if you want to work a little bit learn a little bit do the unstable just don't use it as your main operating system um, I would recommend stable or testing I tend to use testing because I I want the later drivers and I want the newer versions of the of the software so for Debian if we can go back to the to my slide for Debian we have MX 15 Sparky Linux which is based on testing and then Debian testing those would be my my Debian distributions now Arch Linux I absolutely love Arch Linux and when I think of Arch Linux I think of Manjaro Manjaro puts it together so that the average guy can get to know Arch use it enjoy it and not have to be concerned about doing things the Arch way uh, if you want to do things the arch way and you want to do a plain vanilla arch install by all means I highly recommend it just for the learning experience I've done it myself successfully multiple times I don't do it anymore um, once I was successful multiple times and I knew I could do it there was no, really no point in me taking the time when I do a, an arch install uh, for a review I want to get it up and running as quickly as possible so usually I will um, be, in, be installing Manjaro or if I want to do a plain vanilla arch install I use the architect installer it gets the job done it's not as difficult as the archway and you can tailor it any way you want you can add your your upper your desktop environment your window manager whatever you want you can install it play with it get it just the way you want so as far as I'm concerned with arch you have Manjaro and then arch slash architect that would be my uh, opinion on on installing arch there you go Manjaro XFCE that's my desktop of choice and architect now for puppy Linux I have limited exposure to puppy I've done several installs just recently I tried the simplicity version I prefer if you're gonna go with an LXDE desktop on top of puppy I recommend LX pup versus simplicity I've tried both I prefer LX pup but if I were doing a puppy Linux install and I wanted to find out what puppy Linux was all about I would download Tarpup uh, the based on 1404 I'm sure uh, hopefully they'll be updating that at some point but uh, I'm sure they're a little bit slower than the general Linux community so this um, would be the 6.0.5 version which is the latest yeah so that's what I would recommend if you were if you were wanting to try out puppy 
Guitar Pup 6.0.5 is the way to go. And I've done a few visit videos on that showing you how to do the install and get your uh, peripherals up and running. So, uh, but Puppy is kind of a uh, fringe uh, distribution. Uh, it's not for everyone, but there, there are those who run Puppy and only Puppy. And uh, I can see why it has a lot of good points. But as I said, my distribution of choice right now, all things considered, is MX-15. That's what I'm using most of the time on both of my computers. So guys, that is the uh, state of the uh, Linux community as I see it. Again, this is just my opinions, um, but this is 2016 Linux, the best so far. Thanks for stopping by. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.